Blessed day everyone, welcome po sa ating daily devotions and as we continue our study on the Sermon on the Mount, uh, we find ourselves looking at a section wherein ang ganda ng transition, it flows naturally from the Beatitudes. At dito po makit natin yung uh, um, utos ng Panginoon Diyos, y- 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 yung um, call ni Cristo sa mga kingdom citizens. This is Jesus' call to kingdom citizens. To be a faithful witness to His transforming power sa pamagitan ng pamumuhay nila sa mundo kanilang ginagalawan. Right? So, we'll be looking at uh, Matthew 5, 13 to 16. Let's see if we can finish everything today. But, uh, kung po pwede lang, sana himahimahin natin talaga. No? But, let me read to you uh, Matthew 5, 13 to 16. This is how it reads. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how shall its uh, saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a stand. And it gives light to all in the house in the same way. Let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Right? So, ito po ay napakagalang section. Alam niyo po, if you would look at um, church history and um, some of the comments of people uh, about Christianity, sa po ng karamihan, the greatest hindrance, ang pinakamalairaw pong sagabal in the advancement of the gospel is the failure of God's people to live out the gospel. Right? The reason some folks don't believe in the missions, in the gospel, is that hindi makita sa kanilang buhay, right? In this context, itong ating pinag-uusapan, itong ating section na tinitinan, uh, King Jesus, uh, the one who gave this kingdom principles for kingdom citizens, gives us a reminder that He redeemed us and brought us into His kingdom para sa kapakanan ng Ibanghelyo. To be salt of the earth and to be light of the world. This is the good news that we ought to be propagating. Sabi ko nga po, th- this section flows naturally out of the Beatitudes. Right? taking on and exhibiting the character of the Beatitudes, kung isa sa buhay natin, ang ating napag-aralan na blessedness sa Beatitudes, this is what makes it possible for us to be salt and light of the earth and in this world, among the nations para makita nila. Ito po ang importanteng sangkap uh, for us to be salt and light of the earth. We need to really go through the Beatitudes so that we would understand that this is our witness. Having gone through the blessedness, then we share that blessedness. And we do that for, for, uh, with in, um, our Christian witness as we follow the mandate of our King. Right? At ang ganda nung ginamit ni Cristo na mga word picture. Soul and light. Right? Sinasabi rito ng Panginoong Diyos, uh, uh, implied here is that we live in a world decaying. We live in a world that is dark. Right? Nung ginamit ng Panginoon Diyos na salt, uh, sa konteksto ng mga nakikinig sa kanila, alam nila ang ibig ng salt. Salt is a uh, used to preserve. Light is to, of course, guide us and light our path. So, this is telling us that the world that we live in, kaya sila galit. Kaya, kaya we will be persecuted. Kaya, kaya we would be expecting a hostility from the world because we live in a decaying world, we live in a darkened world, right? And kung papasin natin yung panulat ni, ni Matthew, started yung sa, yung sa minister ni Cristo, started with the Beatitudes telling us that you are salt and light of the earth. Ang crescendo niyan, the Great Commission sa Matthew 28, right? To be salt and light dun sa mundo ating inagalawan. So, Napakadaling tignan itong outline na ito. Or itong section to with, with uh, regards to an outline. Sa 13, sabi, you are the salt of the earth to this decaying word, world. 14 to 16, we are light 
to this darkened world, right? So, let's first look at um, being salt. Sabi niya, you are the salt of the earth. Sabi nga rin dito sa atin, tayo ay salt. Pers- uh, ano magagawa ng salt? Uh, common use of salt is um, preservation, right? Uh, to add flavor, healing in their context. It creates thirsts. Diba? Pag ikay kumain ng mga alo, nag, 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 nalalakot na uuhaw. That should be our effect on this world. You are sold. Uh, sana po, maintindihan natin that as we went through the Beatitudes, having gone through, by God's grace, the blessedness of being in the kingdom of God, na baliktad, di ba? Ang blessedness, hindi siya kapareho ng um, uh, uh, dinidefine ng mundo. It is the blessedness that this king, the king of kings, has uh, um, discussed with us. Therefore, tayo dapat ay ipangaral ito by being pure, by being those who are preservatives, if you will. Those who can add flavor, those who can heal, not necessarily physical healing, but heal. Ano pinakakailangang healing ng tao? The gospel, those who create thirst. Pagkasama ba tayo ng mga tao? When they see us, when they are associated with with us, do we induce thirst para po sa Panginoon Diyos o parang baliwala? See, this is who we are as kingdom citizens. We are salt of the earth. Pero meron sinabi si Christo, but if you if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? So, sabi nga nun, as purifying agents, we need to be mindful of our testimony, uh, of our witness. How can we as believers uh, um, lose our usefulness? Kasi ang salt na hindi maalat, useless siya. Ang salt na hindi nakakapag-preserve, useless siya. Diba? In, in ancient world, ang salt sa kanilang pananaw pwedeng makontaminate and, and be impure. Right? Kaya sabi ganit ni Cristo, if, if the salt loses its taste, uh, how should it be restored? Right? Maganda yung salin sa, uh, sa isang paraphrase. Sabi niya, if you lose your saltiness, how will people taste godliness? Ang ganda, di ba? Of course, the answer is they won't. At least not from the one who no longer lives a godly and pure life. So, we need to understand, friends, that those who have lost their saltiness have become useless to the kingdom. No longer good for anything but to be thrown. Sabi nga, itapo na lang at apakapakan. We need to be mindful of our saltiness. We need to be mindful of uh, our witness. We need to be mindful na hindi tayo dapat nag-compromise. So, let me ask all of you, uh, as we, mukhang dito na lang tayo, sa verse 13 lang talaga siguro tayo, we need to be mindful of who we are, we are salt, ano bang ginagawa natin, dapat ano ba, batahin na tulad sa salt, we are preservatives, we are add flavor, we heal, we induce thirst. Ang tanong sa atin, have we lost our usefulness? Kasi, again, sa context nila, yung salt sa panahon nila, pwedeng magkaroon ng pagkakatan wala yung usefulness when contaminants are added. So, what are the contaminants in the life of believers now? The modern day salt. Well, sin, uh, forgetfulness to um, be in the word, Obedience to God's word, living out God's word, we can name a lot. Bottom line is, we need to be intimately acquainted with God's word to, to maintain our purity. Salty ba tayo? Are we preservatives? Ang tanong ko lagi dito ay ganda eh. Pag may nag-uusap ba, if there is a group uh, of people, maybe your friends, na nagkukwentuhan, tas ang pinagkukwentuhan bastos, Pag dumaan ka ba, tumitigil sila? That's a beautiful picture of being preservatives. Kung nagmumura ba, nahihiya ba silang magmura pag andun ka? But the thing is this, 
kung andun sila nagkukwentuhan ng ng pangit dumating ka tas parang wala nangyari then you have lost your pres, uh, preservative uh, uh, characteristics right baka pag dumating ka mas lalong bumastos mas nakakalungkot yun do we add flavor are they blessed are, are they refreshed when, when they they come across us when when you speak words coming from scripture right do we uh, uh, heal pagkausap ba din tayo na gagaan ba ka ng pairamdam or when, when we, they talk to us do, do we induce even interest in in in, in god Sabihin ba nila, may kakaiba ngayon talaga sa taong ito eh. Itong kaibigan natin dati, nakaka-intriga. Ba't ganyan siya ngayon? That, that is um, a beautiful picture, practical application, or illustration of what salt is in our lives, in our day. So sabihin ganyan dito, we need to be mindful. If there are contaminants sa ating buhay that may lose that may um, retard the qualities, the usefulness of us being so. Huwag natin isipin na um, mananatili tayong salt, mananatili tayong, what I mean by that, that is this, mananatili tayong ma, uh, um, useful or maalat or maging flavor or maging preservative on our own. We need God's word. We need God's favor. We need God's grace. We need the leading and the the uh, um, filling of the Holy Spirit. We need to yield to the Holy Spirit, right? So, mga kapatid, this is what we have right now, flowing out of the beatitudes, the blessedness of being part of the kingdom, and now Jesus, our King, is telling us and giving us what we ought to be doing. We are the salt of the earth. Preservatives, flavor, healing, induces thirst. But if salt has lost its taste, if we can find contaminants in our lives, it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. I pray deep in my heart na unawa natin to ngayon itong ating pag-aaral and I pray that as we continue on with this um, devotion tomorrow yung light of the world we are um, encouraged we are informed and we were rebuked anong klaseng asin ka kapatid this is the ending of our devotion today and I praise the Lord for uh, our devotion today Lord, we thank you for the grace of being part of the kingdom, your kingdom. Dahil po sa inyong biyaya, sa inyong pagandahang loob. And we thank you, Lord, for the privilege of living for you. We understand, Lord, that there are many things that we point at and blame um, sa hindi pag-usog uh, ng ibanghelo ninyo. But Lord, in reality, at times, the fault is the lack of Christian witness in Christians' lives. The lack of usefulness in your modern-day salt. And so, Lord, we pray na tulungan niyo po kami maunawaan yon. May we not uh, lose our usefulness. May we be mindful, Lord, of certain contaminants that, that may hinder us from uh, um, giving praise unto you by being useful for your kingdom's sake. Salamat na marahe sa pag-aaral nito, Lord. This is really exciting. This is re- really a beautiful sermon coming from our beautiful Savior and we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to go through this. Excited kami para bukas, Panginoon Diyos, but for now, this is enough. And I pray that uh, your people, those who by your grace have been saved, it would be indeed the salt uh, of the earth um, today, especially now in these trying times. Marahe sa lahat umuli sa inyong pagpapala, sa inyong salita. We pray that you'd be with us the whole day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
Thank you po sa pagsama niyo sa akin. Uh, sabi ko na nga ba, hindi natin matatapos eh. But, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for the next uh, uh, three verses. Right? Ingat po kayo. God bless.